She's not even really a character. She's the Broly of Evangelion, an overblown shiny object for the most superficial fans. Even a chuckle fuck like yourself has to admit that the ending of the last movie was a complete slap to the face. <sighs> I didn't call to talk about anime. I want to make sure your new airship wasn't going to disrupt the Lithos encampment. What encampment? They're dead. You made sure of that. Survivors might emerge if we wait long enough. And the ones who died wouldn't have if you hadn't riled things up. I recall having saved your life. From the situation you put me in. Let's just agree to disagree, shall we? Let's not. This has been a long time coming. You want a penguin truth? How's this? Nobody watches your videos. Nobody respects your leadership. You're a parasitic shut-in with no social skills, and people pity you at best. You're a complete waste of life. Hmm. Well, that's interesting. Here's something interesting. You committed a genocide. You killed most, if not all, of the lithos. Your good friend died completely in vain for his people because you turned around and blasted them. So when you finally ascend to the throne as king, just know that no matter what kind of king you turn out to be, you'll never live that down. And you'll be as alone as I am, if not more. Now that's a penguin truth. Hmm. Not until the rain dies down, I think. In the meantime, I have a video to do. Good luck with your 20 views. Fuck off! <laughs> Me too. here and it's time for more otaku evolution be sure to like subscribe and contribute to my patreon ah english dubs they're an invaluable marketing tool for anime i've covered a bunch of anime this first half of the year with a variety of quality of dubs and i'm here to talk a little bit about them mobile fighter g gundam has a dub done by ocean's redheaded stepchild blue water it seems to be a fairly popular dub but i don't know I've always felt like it was really awkward and stilted sounding. I guess it works in a so bad it's tolerable manner, since the awkwardness fits the bizarreness of the proceedings at times, but I don't feel like any of the performances really pop. The closest I came to being impressed was Carol and Day as Alan B. Beardsley and Ben Jeffries' Prime Minister Wong. Dave Pettit's Master Asia had its moments too. Case closed, as I've stated before, it's one of those dubs that would have been better if they hadn't lamely westernized all the names for. Otherwise, the performances from the likes of Allison Victorin, Jerry Jewell, Colleen Clinkenbeard, and R. Bruce Elliott are all fairly decent. The new dub of Detective Conan material by Bang Zoom, starring Wendy Lee as Conan, is also good, but I'm still used to the Funimation cast, even to this day. It's too bad Victorian is such a terrible person in real life, because her Conan was on point. Rachel, what's wrong? You're not afraid, are you? Of course I am. But you're here with me, and that helps some. This 
Besides that, Jimmy told me to wait for him. And I couldn't very well wait for him if I didn't live. What isn't on point is the dub for 80 police files, which only barely reaches tolerable because of its short length. If you look at it as a whole, it's a pretty awful dub with a lot of bad casting and really uninspired line reads. It's strangely better than Bubblegum Crisis' dub, despite being done by the same dub studio, but that's such a low bar to clear, a snake couldn't slither under it. If there was an anime that needed redubbing, it's basically the entirety of the Bubblegum Crisis franchise, outside of maybe 2040. I'm damn scared. I've been thinking that one day I'll become completely like this. This artificial arm doesn't have an independent power supply. It's directly linked to my nerves. Just about here, its artificial nerve cells are fused to mine just like a real arm. To think that little by little this hardware might take over my body scares the hell out of me. It's a great time to be a fan of Luban the Third, especially when there are brand new English dubs coming out for the franchise that are both accurate and well acted. One of them is the dub for Episode Zero First Contact, done by Epcar Entertainment. Richard Epcar doubles as ADR director and the voice of Daisuke Jigen. And you'll have the usual gang of Tony Oliver as Lupin, Lex Lang as Goemon, and Michelle Ruff as Fujiko Mine. They all do their usual excellent job, but I find the chemistry between Oliver and Epcar and Oliver and Ruff are especially good in this feature. It's an excellent dub without taking all the liberties the dub of Part 2 did. I'm glad, because this is my favorite of the Loop on TV specials. There are a few features that have gone undubbed that I wish could have this same treatment. Now, I can't really show a clip of this with the audio because TMS is a notorious copyright dragon, but go find the trailer from Discotech and you'll hear some of the dub. I've been fortunate enough to run into two anime's dubs in this half of the year. The first is a certified Grand Pantheon level English dub for a solid anime, Big O. Both seasons have a fantastic lineup of voice actors, including Stephen Bloom, Leah Sargent, Wendy Lee, Michael McConaughey, Michael Forrest, William Frederick Knight, and Crispin Freeman. The anime sounds so natural in English, I rarely ever watch it in its original Japanese. I think Angel might be my favorite Wendy Lee performance, even considering Faye Valentine in Cowboy Bebop. <laughs> this is hilarious, Roger Smith. You aren't. You can't be. Don't tell me you and that perpetually foul-tempered android- Enough! Stop these preposterous insinuations. <laughs> it's preposterous. All right. The second anime stub I encountered is for a kind of a mixed bag of a show, and the dub itself isn't quite Grand Pantheon level, but it is quite good nevertheless. I'm talking about the dub for the Blackjack OVA, which I've talked about before in previous English dub review videos. As I've always said, there's just something about Kirk Thornton's performance as the titular Doctor that is so damn compelling. I think he's just as iconic as Akio Otsuka. It's a shame the last two episodes were never dubbed, nor were the TV shows, because I'd love to hear him continue in the role. I'm also fond of Peter Spellos as Inspector Takasugi in Episodes 2 and 9. Boy, do I miss anime's dubs. The loss of Kevin Seymour is still felt in anime dubs. I'm armed with Tsukiko's gift of love, to fight for the ones left behind. If there's a cure, I'm going to find it. I've already commented on the Revolutionary Girl Utena dub in the actual review video, but to reiterate, it's not very good. Despite valiant efforts from Rachel Lillis and Crispin Freeman, there's just no saving this dub. The sort of badly casted and poorly performing voice actors you hear make it very amateurish sounding. After a while, I just stuck to watching it in Japanese and only just made clips in English for the review. Why Kunihiko Ikahara has an affection for this dub is mind-boggling to me. It sucks like it's trying to win a contest. Todd Studios is no animes. That much is clear. Rotten. 
Don't you dare. You can't waste this nice day with that lunch. Besides, I made this lunch to show my love for my wonderful Utena. Look! Sure. Look! Uh... Look! Oh, <gasps> joy! Cut it out! <laughs> I'd sure love to show you actual footage from Castle in the Sky, but I recently discovered that Studio Ghibli is, much like TMS, Toei, and just a whole litany of other overzealous IP holders, a vicious copyright dragon. So I'm not going to risk it. All I have to say is that while celebrity casting can be annoying, I've never really been let down by a dub of a Ghibli film. James Vanderbeek and Anna Paquin are hardly acting their hearts out, but you have to give a hand to Cloris Gleachman's Dola and Mark Hamill's Muska. Everybody's doing at least a general level of decent in this dub, but those two hit it out of the park. And that covers the dubs of all the anime I've reviewed thus far in 2022. I was lucky not to run into too many bad ones. I hope to get a variety in the second half of the year, where I'll revisit Ghost in the Shell and Eden of the East, watch an Ava clone that's not really an Ava clone, and maybe sneak in some more Lupin. I can't guarantee anything, but I'll try my best to bring you more of my opinionated ramblings. Until next time, this is Mike, Penguin Truth for Otaku Evolution. See ya! You're a parasitic shut-in, with no social skills, and people pity you at best. You're a complete waste of life.